75 to 100 feet down to the fairway. A little helping breeze. Very few. And it's an take aggressive that. line. I'm not sure the marshals. Yeah. Sorry, good. Craig. No, you're good. Very few would take that line. I remember I always used to just try and keep it inside the right spyglass hill. There's Mark Carnivale and Rory McElroy. Carney, where's the ball? Uh, we're trying to find it. Uh, they've had a couple of the marshals over there. Of course, they have no idea where the ball is coming from. I should say where it's going because they're way below that level. There's sun up there. Uh, they heard something uh, hit. But again, it's so soft, the ball didn't bounce. So we're just, you know, we're, trying, we're having a little expedition here to try to try to find his ball. I think you guys are looking in the right place. That's Greg Parker, a spotter for the NBC Sports, CBS Sports, and a former caddy. And I, when he was looking in that left rough, that looked like the spot. And Rory's just checking his numbers. This would have been a shot he would have hit in the practice rounds. And you can see there was the problem. Right of the tree? Yeah. How, how, how are you compared to Ludwig? Are you a little longer? A little longer. Okay. Where's Ludwig Paul? Yeah, excellent. Ludwig Potentially right away. looking in the fairway. If it's better than the fairway. That's yeah, they're an overholster out there also. Yeah, that's the problem. Wherever this ball landed, it may have just embedded, which is going to make it harder to see. Oh, here it is. I got it. It's on the fairway. Okay. He found it. Plugged in the fairway. Embedded on the right side. It was like, yeah, it's definitely good. So if you're further left of that tree. It's, uh, that line wasn't aggressive enough. It wasn't aggressive enough. Okay. Disaster averted, and much like the rest of us when we play number one at Spyglass Hill, we're just happy to find it. Look at that. Si look at the size of that pitch mark. <laughs> Charlie, you back in your wind. Look at that. Had trouble even getting the ball out of the ground. Excavation equipment required at Spyglass Hill. And every hole at Spyglass Hill is named after a significant character or portion of Trevor, Treasure Island. Number one just got the title billing. It's called Treasure Island. In that back hole location where it is, not very deep. Hanging on here, this going a little left. Ooh, that was, that was awfully close to being really good. Saturday's supposed to be nice, but windy. Rory is here at the par five first. Mark Carnivale, what are we looking at? Well, he's called on a rules official. The ball is right on the edge of the first cut and the fringe. And yeah, he just wants to make, if it's touching, any part of the golf ball is touching the fringe, he is entitled to preferred lies. So he'll be able to move it as it is right now. He's right on the edge of the first cut of rough and the fringe. Uh, yeah, not all that big a deal. I think it's still an opportunity to play the shot, but I think it's one where obviously you're able to get relief. It makes it a touch easier. Well, he's going to get a full club length if he gets it. Yeah, That's get a good call. Closer to the green, the general area. I think that was Stephen Cox coming in. Aaron's always uh, in the middle of the picture. That uh, has won this event in his career. And <laughs> One dimple is touching the close line of the ball. Looks like it is. Thank you. Comfortable with that? I just wanted to make sure. Okay. All right. Thanks, Tati. Got it. So he's going to get an entire club length. You have to measure your relief area with the longest club in your bag that isn't your puppy. No, club length there. Club length? Yeah. All right, so Rory gets his relief. Didn't really go that far sideways, Carney. What do you think? Well, because he got the preferred lies, he didn't have to drop it either. He's able to place it. So that would have been a, a big difference. I don't think he would have dropped it personally. Slightly move away from him, but Shouldn't be too bad. Just stretch ball. I have a question, Brian. You're an expert with the ball. He had no. one full club length. He did. He could have gone completely away from that primary cutter rough where it didn't impede the backswing. I think 
might have made an incorrect drop. Well, not an incorrect drop, but just a poor decision on where he chose to drop it. Maybe there was a sprinkler that would have been the way or something he didn't like. You're right, he could have gone laterally either direction. Good fall. Yeah, that was probably a belly wedge, wasn't it? Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. To watch more, click here. To subscribe, click here.